Hi, I'm Raza, and today I'll demonstrate how quickly you can get the Arc Metaware software up and running on the Synopsys Arc EM Starter Kit. Let's take a look at our new EM Starter Kit, version 2.0. To help you get started on your SOC design, the EM Starter Kit comes with everything you need for rapid software development, code porting, software debugging, and profiling for Arc processors. Here are the contents of the EM Starter Kit. A hardware platform with pre-installed FPGA images of Arc EM family of processors with peripherals, a four-channel 12-bit A to D converter extension module, a 100 to 240 volts AC power adapter, and a USB cable. We'll start by using the bundle temperature sensor example. We'll modify, build, and download it and then run the design on the starter kit demo platform. The temperature sensor demo senses the temperature of the room and displays it on the LCD screen. You can choose to display the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit units. We're using the digital temperature sensor connected to BMOD3. This module communicates via I2C with the EM5D core. We are also using the Digilent LCD interface connected to PMOD5 and PMOD6 connectors. This module communicates with the EM5D core with the SPI interface. All Digilent PMODs, including the two we are using for today's demonstration, can be purchased directly from the Digilent website. You will need to install drivers, which are also available from the Digilent website. I've already installed them for today's demonstration. The Arc EM Starter Kit board includes a SPI flash storage device that is pre-programmed with three FPGA images. Make sure the dip switch is set correctly to select the Arc EM5D core. Now we will connect the Starter Kit board to the laptop using the USB cable. Next, we will launch the Metaware IDE. You will have to download and install both the demo package and the Metaware software in order to run the demo. You can also choose to use Metaware Lite, which is a free downloadable version of the Metaware development toolkit. The EM Starter Kit user's guide has instructions on how to access and download the software and demos. I've already downloaded and installed both, so let's get started. Let's select the package sensor temperature demo by right-clicking on the temp sensor project. We'll modify a line of code here, so we can also display the temperature in Celsius. We'll build the project by clicking on Build Project. Now let's press the Debug button to launch a debug session. Please note that we have already created a debug session for this demo. The debug session enables the communication with the board via the Digilent JTAG. This process is documented in the Metaware User's Guide. Within the debug perspective, let's click the Run button in the toolbar at the top to run the application on the board. Now the LED zero is flashing every 0.6 seconds. This indicates a heartbeat of the running application. You can see the temperature on the display. The program will measure and display the temperature every time you press one of these buttons. Celsius using the L button or Fahrenheit units with the R button. Today, you have seen how quickly you can get Arc Metaverse software up and running on the Designware Arc EM Starter Kit for immediate productivity. Be sure to order your EM Starter Kit right away. And while you are waiting for it to arrive, you can download the free Metaware Lite software, which allows you to develop and debug software on a simulator. Thanks for watching.